Hey everyone, it's Ivan from Badger.com. Out here to give you a first look. I'm gonna show you some cool stuff I got. Like this case. Impact case and components. Welded aluminum case. Made pretty much right next to my hometown. But there's more to it than that. So recently I talked with the guys over at Howa. And bam. Got this guy out. It is the Oryx, their mini micro action. I don't remember which, but it's chambered in 6.5 Grindle. And with it, they also have one of their Nico Sterling optics on here. This one is the Diamond First Focal Plane 6 to 24. So I'm actually looking forward to putting in some time with this. I've never owned or shot a 6.5 Grindle, so this should be pretty cool. And course need some other things to kind of make this thing work so to that end out here today I have a Imlock rail section from Magpul so I can attach this an awesome Atlas bipod and I got 20 rounds of this 123 grain SST 6.5 Grindle by Hornady so I'm gonna get all this stuff put together hop down on a range where I can basically get out to about 100 yards make sure I'm on paper shoot a couple groups Back behind me at 100 yards, I got a target set up. This came apparently bore sighted. All this stuff was already set up, the optic on it, everything like that. So I'm gonna have to shoot my rounds through that tire. No, I won't. But I don't know if I'm ambitious putting that target straight back there at 100 yards. We'll see, hopefully I'm on paper and I can make adjustments from there. But I'm gonna get these rounds on paper and uh, yeah, see where we're at. I'm not seeing anything. Try one more. All right, I'm on paper. Let's see. Well, I'm on paper. Hopefully that is not indicative of this rifle and ammo or either one of those for that matter. I'll go check it. So this just happened. Initially, my point of aim was right here. And after that first shot, I couldn't tell if that was a new hole right there. And I'm like, uh, I don't know. So I ended up having my point of aim right here. Again, 100 yards. I saw this round be my second impact. And I'm like, okay, like I'm gonna go ahead and just hold that for the remaining rounds. So I have for sure there, there, there maybe that was my fifth round up there maybe that was my first round not totally sure but yeah uh, so who knows maybe it just needed to get something out of its system maybe i need to get something out of my system i don't think i'm that bad though so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna again shift my point of aim back to right here i'm gonna shoot five more rounds and we'll see what we get All right, we'll go see. This time, this was my point of aim, and I have one. That was like my first shot. And then my second shot, I saw impact over here. I was like, oh, maybe we're good. And I'm like, oh, maybe we're not. And I don't remember which is which, but ultimately one, two, three, four, and five. 
underwhelmed. Where does this leave me? Well, honestly wondering about a lot of things. As far as me, yeah, I was breaking my shooting position between shots. I'll be honest, the rocks weren't really comfortable, but I know I'm probably capable of more than that with a capable rifle. So what are the variables? Well, it turns out like pretty much everything is unknown for me at this point. It seems like this first group maybe was bigger than my second group which I've actually seen something where when they put coatings on barrels, they'll end up getting some basically like into the end of the barrel. And you'll see, like you'll go from like a five inch group at like 50 yards and eventually you'll shoot it out and it'll tighten back up. But I don't know, I kind of doubt that happened. So what are some variables I can look at? Well, one, this optic and rings. Total unknown, the rifle's unknown, the ammunition's unknown. Of all those things, I think the ammo's probably good to go, the Hornady. I think the rifle's probably more capable than this. I imagine 6.5 Grindel is more capable than this. So, which leads me to probably something up here. What I'm gonna probably do is one, I'm gonna reach out to Hawa and say, hey, this just happened. Do you have any insight? And I'm also going to pull this guy off. I have the 4 to 16 Bushnell Nitro, which it's a decent optic, already in rings. And it in those rings, I pretty much pulled it off of the Savage 110 Tactical Desert. And I took that thing out to like a thousand yards on a 6.5 Creedmoor. Did a great job for me. No issues with respect to it inside those rings. So I think that's probably where I'm gonna start. Am I gonna shoot more out here today? No, because it's my ammo I bought and my time, neither of which I wanna waste, but we'll see where we're at. As always, thanks for joining us at kipadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. It breaks my heart, it makes me sad.